Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. All right. We're going to do a lower ball joint on a 2009 Dodge Nitro front lower ball joint. Let's get to it. Here's my selection of tools I'll be using to do the job. I've got 19 millimeter and 21 millimeter wrenches and sockets. Ratchet with a, I think a six millimeter Allen on it. 10 millimeter torque wrench, torque wrench, swivel, pry bar. Air gun is kind of optional. Plus we do have the uh, special tools Lower ball joint, upper ball joint, installation, removal tools, installation tool, removal tool. <laughs> All right. Nineteen millimeter. All nuts and bolts are left to loose and right to tighten. Break the lug nuts loose on the ground a turn or two. And then I go ahead and jack up the vehicle, take the lug nuts off the rest of the way, use safety stands, protect yourself from harm, and take the tire off. I'm just going to pry a little bit, collapse the piston, it just helps a little bit to. Uh, get the caliper off easier. We'll cut these off with a uh, side cutters or if you want to take the time to turn them off and use them again you can do that. Sometimes I use a little screwdriver and get in here and tweak these all up so it'll just come off easier. I'm going to go ahead and take this tie rod off here. It's a 10 millimeter socket that will fit on the end of this if you have a problem taking it off or putting it on. Hold the ball joint in place. We'll give this a couple love taps on the side here with a hammer and it should uh, separate that. Try to leave the nut on the bottom in case you uh, miss and hit the threads somehow and you can protect the threads with the nut. We'll swing a little freer to get to the bolts on the caliper. 21 millimeter bolts. We'll get that. We'll also, there's an electrical connector up here. We'll pull that red tab back. Piece of junk. Stupid plastic brakes on you. Very annoying. Things don't always go as planned. I'm going to push it from the bottom here, probably. And we can 
push her tab here. Theoretically and release it. Just pulling it out of the harness here. That's the ABS, the wiring, assuming you're going to have ABS. should come off or you can tap it off probably. <laughs> to get this nut off, you usually put a screwdriver. In the veins here, put a screwdriver in the veins, it'll hold the uh, rotor from turning and you can break that bolt loose if you're not using air tools. Put that through the hole in the caliper. It's a hole in the center. You put it right through there, and then it'll uh, this will stop on the caliper, and you can break that nut loose. Using a 35 millimeter. And these are both 21 millimeter for me anyway. I'm going to zip them off with the gun. Turn and turn and turn and turn, got the nut off. Use it again to protect the threads. Do the same for the lower ball joint. Also have the nut on. It's probably not going to fall off, but we have the nut on there. It'll catch it when it falls. The knuckle. Hopefully your axle's not uh, stuck in place here. If it is, you can put the nut on here and maybe make the nut flush here and then tap on it a few times and pound on it to get this to move through the knuckle and wheel bearing assembly. <coughs>
you don't want to hit this without uh, maybe use a rubber mallet or something but you don't want to hit that and ding up the threads Spin this maybe to make it make sure it feels smooth. And they've got this staked on a couple sides. We're just going to use a hammer and tap these in as much as possible. Help push the uh, ball joint through a little easier. You can use a chisel or punch too. Don't have to do this, but I kind of like to. Make a nice insulation tool. For, insulation tool for that too would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Ball joints out. Mm -hmm. Clean up the hole if you need to. If it seems too rusty or whatever, but it looks pretty good. Put just a little bit of uh, grease on here. Make it go in easier.
Then they want you to stake those with a hammer and a punch or chisel out in four directions, evenly spaced. I'm going to put a little anti-seize on the ends of this uh, CV shaft. It came off a little hard. may go on a little easier, especially if you're in the rust belt. You may be dealing with this a lot more often. I'm going to use just a little blue Loctite on some of the threads. These have a little uh, coating of nylon, I believe, on the inside, plastic nylon, and like a thread locker. I think they want you to replace them. I don't think my instructions say to replace them, but I thought that's the idea. So, But I'm going to use a little bit of blue Loctite on the threads. start with the lower ball joint and these are all uh, tightened to a torque spec and then additional 90 degrees 30 foot pounds on the upper ball joint 40 foot pounds on the lower ball joint and then I believe 30 foot pounds on the tie rod end and they're all additional 90 degrees of turn this is where I use my nine or six millimeter allen head I'm going to use my pry bar to pull down on the upper control arm to get this uh, upper nut done. Just going to keep doing that. Torque in a 30.
than 90. Tighten those to 100 foot pounds. screwdriver trick I talked about before. This also is 100 foot pounds. foot-pound torque stick for wheels and tires. Pretty darn close. I think that is enough detail for you. We'll snap these back into place here and on here. Reconnect this up here. Snap those in that hole there and then uh, put the tire on. Tighten the bolts in a crisscross pattern. Probably 100 foot pounds. That would complete installing your ball joint. We'll do this too here, of course. <laughs> and that again is 30 foot pounds and 90 degrees. 30 foot pounds and 9 degrees. 
That is installing your lower ball joint on your Dodge Nitro. Best of luck to you. I know uh, several stores nowadays are actually loaning out tools. You can soon consider finding in your area a place that might loan you a ball joint press setup. Makes things a lot easier. Good luck to you.